Lateral movement within your network can be filtered easily using Wireshark. Coming up. To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. In the following scenario, we have our Ubuntu PC and a Windows 10 PC. Both are sitting on the port 4 interface, which is at the 10.0.3.0 subnet. Now, the Ubuntu device will act as our compromised PC that tries to scan the Windows 10 device using Nmap for open ports. So let's see how that works. Let's head over to our Ubuntu device. Let's first ping our Windows 10 device to see that it is alive. Let's use uh, the simplest ping command. It is. It is alive. Now let's use Nmap. We'll actually be initiating a full TCP SYN handshake. We can see that we have found four ports that are open on our Windows 10 device. We'll use another scan, which is the stealth scan, uh, which actually initiates a um, half open connect or connection to the Windows 10 device. We're actually initiating the SYN. We're waiting for the SYN act, but we're not sending back the acknowledgement. We're sending a TCP reset packet to close the connection. The stealth scan takes a bit more time and it requires, as you can see, it requires our root privileges as we are actually crafting our own packet. Clients that talk to each other within the subnet is quite strange. That is, our clients usually talk with the gateway or with the printer, but they're not initiating connections to other clients within the subnet itself. To tackle that, we will use the ip.source equal equal our subnet and the ip.destination equal equal our subnet. Whenever we use Nmap within our client to look for ports, it will send a TCP SYN and the other side will send a SYNAC if the port is open. If the port is closed, it will send a TCP with the reset flag in it. So we can actually filter using the TCP flag which equals to reset and the compromised PC uh, IP address. So we can see that we, our client actually sent out um, dozens, hundreds. Actually, Nmap uses um, scans for more than 1,000 ports in its basic scan. It looks out for different ports and it gets back the reset flag. If it will get back the SYN ACK, the TCP with the SYN and the ACK flags, then it will indicate that we have an open port. Let's look for the SYN ACK. All right, and we can see that we have port 139, uh, which is open. We can also see that we have port 445, which is open, and port 1. 3, 5, which is open as we saw before in our Nmap scan. Let's go back and see it again. There it is.